What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And welcome back to another Should You Pull video for Dissidia Opera Omnia where I give you my opinion for upcoming banners for Dissidia Opera Omnia. In this video we are going to be concentrating on Sierra's event banner which includes his EX 15 and 35 CP as well as Leo's EX 35 and 15 CP weapon as well. The third wheel for this one is going to be Kryl's 15 and 35 CP weapon. Without further ado, let's start this video. Okay guys, so we'll start this video off with a very familiar EX weapon, an old one called the Rampage Jagan for Lael. This gives him the EX ability called Gilbalg, which is a 4 hit AoE magic brave attack plus a single target HP attack. This moderately raises the brave damage dealt to single targets and greater brave damage to targets afflicted with the force debuff. The brave can overflow to 120% of his max brave and grants a unique buff called Clavation Heart for 5 turns. This initiates a chase sequence as well and allows other targets to be launched immediately. Clavation Heart has the following effects. It raises the party's max brave and attack and of course it initiates an e easier uh, chase sequence for the entire party as well. Now the recast speed for this one is uh, slightly fast. And at 1 out of 3 limit break, this increases the brave damage. At 2 out of 3, this raises the recast speed, making it re extremely fast. And at 3 out of 3, this will give him a HP plus variant for his HP attack. This raises brave based on his max brave before inflicting an HP attack. Now when you do realize this weapon at 0 out of 3, this will increase the total brave potency once again for the EX ability and moderately raising its max brave overflow limit. At 1 out of 3, this will moderately raise Lael's attack and will give him the Brave Attack plus plus variant for his Brave Attack, which increases the number of Brave Hits to 2 and slightly raising the total Brave Potency and raising the party's Brave base on his attack after attacking. This will also have a low action delay. He will also have access to his HP Attack plus plus which is a Magic Brave plus HP attack and the Stolen Brave can overflow to 100, 120% of his Max Brave. At 2 out of 3, when the quest starts, he will have the Medium Max Brave up and a small Magic attack up for 6 turns. And finally, at 3 out of 3, when using Gale Bog, this now increases the number of Brave hits to 8 and increasing the total Brave potency, again increasing the Max Brave overflow limit and extending the duration of existing buffs by 1 turn. And the bonus sphere that you're going to be getting for this one is called Smash Boost Up Long. After initiating a chase sequence, this will raise the max brave by 10% for 8 turns. Now, Lael will also get a slight rework when it comes to his abilities. Let's take a look at his first ability, ability called Field Burst. Now, this will have extra 2 uses and the brave hits... It will become AoE, which is what it normally is. It will, however, increase the number of brave hits to three and increasing the total brave potency and moderately raising the brave damage dealt when there's only one target. The stolen brave can now overflow to 120% of his max brave and inflicts a small speed down debuff and grants a medium max brave up for 10 turns. So these the speed down, I should mention, is only for 5 turns, the buff is for 10 turns. This will now also trigger an HP attack, whereas before it didn't used to. This is now a new thing, which is really great for Lael. Now it's um, quite useful to actually use Field Burst as well. Now after using Field Burst, you will gain access to his normal Brave Attack Plus, which for 10 turns and raises the party's Brave based on his attack after attacking and will have a slow action delay. Now let's take a look at his second ability's rework, which is Energy Gain Extend. Now the number of Brave Hits is increased to 4, in increasing its total Brave Potency once again and giving it a Max Brave Overflow Limit of 150%. This also delays the target by 1 turn, which it normally does at this current time. Okay guys, so after hearing all this information regarding Lael's rework and of course his EX+, Plus, how much should you be investing for Lael? Now, I am of the opinion if you are planning to invest on Lael, you should go at a minimum of 1 out of 3. 
The main reason is the plus plus variance for his brave and HP attack. This will increase his longevity and of course increasing his attack moderately as well. You can go for the max of 2 out of 3 for this one. I uh, highly suggest because you do get the start of, you know, the buffs at the start of the quest, I should say, for at least 6 turns, which should set up Lail quite nicely. Uh, the reason why I don't feel like going 3 out of 3 for Lail is the chances are, if there are multiple targets, you will be capping off on your... Uh, max brave even though you're only doing a four hit brave attack because it is an aoe brave attack so chances are you're gonna max out on your brave anyway the the addition i guess the three out of three gives you is the increase of the max brave overflow limit and of course the extension of duration for existing buffs by one turn which is kind of nice in a way but because of the way that um gale bulg works it actually recharges really fast and chances are clavation heart will not fall off by the time it is ready to go once again so you don't really need that extension um for your buffs because chances are you will have those buffs up almost all the time so I ne won't necessarily go 3 out of 3 but if Layla is one of your favorite characters then you know there's no it won't hurt you to go 3 out of 3 because the increase in the max brave overflow limit will stack up because he will keep getting his EX ability up very very fast and you can quickly basically keep spamming it and that 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 damage that he does will add up now as for the closest comparison Lael is very unique he is the only character that can actually put a debuff that will increase the hidden value for the chase sequence the basically when you hit an enemy you have a hidden value in there uh, and force basically increases the, those um uh, numbers and will, which makes it easier for you to launch the enemy so the closest comparison at least at this point in time in global I would put fang and the main reason for this is they are both some sort of debuffing characters and they both initiate launch now Lael is probably still going to be the best launcher at least at this point in time because fang does need to for the enemies to be broken in order to initiate those launch whereas Lael does not need to and he actually gives some brave battery to the entire party when he launches. Now as for a future comparison maybe, I would put Keys as probably one of the closest comparison as well to Lael because he sort of has this, this same kind of kit where he would launch well, help launch the enemy. So with Keys, it's a little bit different. Um, he actually grants an ally a certain buff that will, in, you know, when they attack, it will initiate a chase sequence. So it's kind of different, but, you know, at the same time, uh, launching is kind of Lael's thing. And if you think of any launcher, you would probably think of Lael and, you know, compare all the other launchers to Lael. At least at this point in time, I'm just going to put Fang here, probably to make it a little bit easier for you guys to understand. Okay, now let's move on to Sierra's EX weapon called Feather Saber. By the way, if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I do apologize, but the way it looks to me, it's Sierra. Uh, some people might say Kieran. So I do apologize I never played Final Fantasy CC so I don't know what it really sounds like but I'm for now I'm just going with Sierra because th I mean that's how it's spelled you know anyway he does get the Feather Saver and the EX ability that he's going to be getting for this one is called Memories of Caravan which is a 5 hit AoE melee brave plus HP attack. This will moderately raise the brave damage dealt to a single target and the stolen brave can overflow to 150% of his max brave. The HP damage is going to be split, split equally which is kinda meh. Uh, this will give him 2 droplets of mirror 
for, uh, which has a max of five and at least one droplet of mirror and when uh, at least one droplet of mirror is present this will raise the party's initial brave max brave attack and defense as well and the effect scales with the number of stacks as well now, and his hp attack will become so shot this will have a normal recast speed and at 1 out of 3, this will increase the brave damage. At 2 out of 3, this will give you an additional droplet of mirror. Instead of 2, you'll get 3 for now. And at 3 out of 3, this will increase the recast speed of Memories of Dawn. Now once you realize this weapon, uh, when you're using Memories of Caravan at 0 out of 3, this will increase the brave potency and will grant Memories of Chronicle for 6 turns. Now Memories of Chronicles is another buff which raises his attack, raises the max brave overflow limit as well. At 1 out of 3, this will moderately raise his max brave and attack as well. And at 2 out of 3, when the quest starts, he will have Crystal Caravan and Memories of Chronicles buff up for 6 turns. He will also have 3 droplets of mirror and will marginally improve the effects of droplets of mirror. And finally at 3 out of 3 when using memories of caravan, this will increase the brave hits to 8 instead of the 5 and tremendously increasing its total brave potency and again slightly raising the max brave overflow limit. The bonus sphere that you are going to be getting for this one is Break Hit Advance Long when breaking a target or tagging a broken target. This raises the max brave overflow limit for Stolen Brave by 10% for 6 turns. Okay guys, moving on to Sierra's abilities with all its passives included. Seeing that Sierra is going to be a new character, let's take a look at his first ability. It's called Bash Attack, which is going to be a melee Bray plus HP attack. And this will also grant him the Crystal Caravan buff for three turns and will acquire one droplet of Mir. Now, when he has one, at least one droplet of Mir, this again, as I mentioned, erases the party's initial Brave, Max Brave attack and defense. And the, the effects does scale with the number of stacks. His HP attacks become Soul Shot, which raises its brave based on its attack and will do a brave a melee brave plus hp attack this becomes soul shot plus when there are five droplets of mirror are present this raises the brave based on his attack once again and will be a two hit melee brave plus hp attack this however will consume two droplets of mirror now the crystal caravan Bob has the following effects. It does raise his own max brave and he does raise the entire, entire party's attack as well. Okay, now let's talk about the extension for this one, which is the level 55 crystal passive. This now will increase the number of brave hits to 3 and raising its total brave potency. The stolen brave can now overflow to 120% and will give him access to the plus variant of both his brave and HP attack. Now the Brave Attack Plus increases the number of Brave Hits too and moderately raising its total Brave Potency and giving himself one droplet of Mir. The HP Attack Plus will be a melee Brave plus HP attack will, and will also acquire one additional droplets of Mir. Now for his 15 CP passive, this will increase its brave potency, improve the effects of Crystal Caravan and extend its duration as well, and as well as adding one additional droplets of Mir whenever you use Bash Attack. Now let's talk about his second ability called Holy Sword. This raises his brave based on his attack and will do a holy melee brave plus HP attack. And when you do have 5 droplets of mirror present, this will become Holy Raw Sword, which raises its brave based on attack and will do a 2 hit Holy Melee Brave plus HP attack, which also consumes 5 droplets of mirror. And of course, taking a look at the Holy Sword Extend as well, which is, which is his level 60 Crystal Awakening passive, that when you're using Holy Sword or Holy Rust Sword, this will now slightly erase the Brave gain based on attack and its effects will become AoE. So basically, his HP attack will be AoE damage as well. And we'll get to that in a, bit, in a little bit. The Stolen Brave can now overflow to 120% of his max Brave. When you're using Holy Sword, this increases the number of Brave Hits to 2 and increasing the total Brave Potency and will give a 50% Splash Damage to non-targets. 
Holy Aura Sword, though, will increase its number of brave hits to 4, increasing its total brave potency once again, and will deal 100% HP damage to non-targets. This is a pretty powerful ability, however, you do have to remember that you will end up using up all your droplets of Mir for this one. Now when you're using Soul Shot, this increases number, the number of Brave hits to 2, increasing its Brave potency, and the Stolen Brave can overflow to 120% of his max Brave. And the plus variant for this one will have its number of Brave hits increased to 4, and the overflow will go to 150% of his max Brave. And of course, let's take a look at the his 35 CP weapon passive. And when you do max this out, you will get this one. When you're using Holy Sword or, or Holy Rust Sword, this raises the Brave gain based on his attack and increasing this its potency as well. And of course, the Soul Shot and Soul Shot Plus, the Brave gain based on attack becomes AOE and will raise its Brave potency as well. So as for his uh, additional ability called Set uh, set Droplets of Mirror, basically he will get two, two Droplets of Mirror from this one. And you know you know what Droplets of Mirror does now. By now it's all listed down and I don't have to re repeat myself. If you do have the blue Bloomstone though, this will give it an additional use and will also give him ad one additional Droplets of Mirror. So instead of two, you'll get three. So after hearing all this information regarding Sierra's abilities and his EX weapon, how much should you be investing on Sierra if you do like this character? I think 1 out of 3 limit break is the way to go. That's the minimum requirement because you do get increase of his max brave and his attack and alongside this you get the unique buff uh, Memories of Chronicle which, which raises his attack and max brave overflow limit. I would go max at 2 out of 3 because this is when the time where he actually gets the Crystal Caravan in Memories of Chronicle buff at the start of the quest and the very important Droplets of Mir as well. And not only that, you actually get an improvement on the effects of the Droplets of Mir as well for 2 out of 3. Now the main reason why I don't recommend going 3 out of 3 is mainly because the character itself is kind of meh. <laughs> and the additional things that you get for a 3 out of 3, increasing their brave hits, is, yeah, it's nice because now it's actually much easier to, like, cap. But even with his 5 hit AoE uh, melee brave attack, if there are multiple targets, there's no reason why uh, Sierra won't be able to actually max out his brave. Now, Obviously, there is an increase in max brave overflow limit, just like Leo's. But just like Leo's, I feel like you don't need those extra eight, like extra three hits for AOE attack in order for you to max Siren out. Obviously, if there's only one enemy left, you do want that. But if there are multiple targets, multiple bosses, then you actually don't need three out of three for Siren. Now, as for the closest comparison. I feel like Terra is the most closest thing to Sierra because Terra has that Magicite um, unique like buff or consumable uh, which is kind of stupid. I I don't know why they did this to Sierra. Um, why make someone like Terra where, where it's a terrible idea to actually make it like a consumable uh, buff. So you ramp this character up to make sure your entire party gets this aura and you end up just using it. I, I, I just don't get it. it it's, it's, it's just bad mechanics. I think it's bad mechanics. It just makes this character really bad. Like what is he trying to be? A party aura? Just So this has the same problem I think as Camelot where he's a party R, but if he gets broken, everything goes away. This time, Sierra just buffs himself up and then just use Holy Rust Sword and everything goes away. All the party buffs that he has goes away and you have to build it all up once again. 
Not only that, you do only get 4 uses for his Holy Sword and it does not get an increased count with his level 60 passive. So you're kind of stuck with that and with the same thing with Bash Attack, I think you only have like 9 uses, you don't actually get e extra uses as well, which is kind of surprising but I guess the, the Bash Attack has a higher count, but Holy Sword only has like 4. I don't know, longevity wise, I guess you can use Soul Shot, but that also consumes uh, Droplets of Mirror. So, there's a lot of problems, I think, for this character, and I don't like recommend this character at all. It's like, it's like Terra Bad, if you get what I mean. Um, look, all I can say is if Hisirin is your favorite, I won't judge you if you actually max him out. But if you are trying to save your resources, probably not the character to actually max out and save those resources for future characters. There are going to be a lot more powerful powerful characters other than Sierran himself. Okay guys, we are towards the end of this video. The final question is, should you pull? In my opinion, this one is a no. Do not pull on this banner. The prize here is actually Lail other than Siren. Siren, to me, like I mentioned, is kind of... He kind of doesn't know what he's supposed to be. Because he buffs the entire party. And then uses it all up. And it, everything disappears. So to me, Lail is more of the prize. However, Lail's EX weapon is actually available in the EX shop token. So if you haven't spent your EX tokens, you can actually get Lael's EX weapon from there. Um, obviously, only use it if you are certain you like Lael as a character. I'm not saying you can just pick it up from there. Um, because there are other characters that are probably much health, a little bit more helpful than Lael in, in terms of meta-wise. You can certainly pick up like Noctis who got his EX plus a little bit earlier or uh, I don't know Cloud is still pretty good it's he's pretty like he launches as well so he's pretty decent still uh, even though we are this far ahead in like the chaos difficulty obviously there are limitations for him now but I still think he's a great character so yeah it's a no for me uh, you, however, I you can use tickets. I was I would highly suggest if you are pulling for this banner at all, use your tickets instead of gems. So just save those resources in the future. Next month we are going to be getting a lot of very good characters. So yeah, that's my advice for you guys. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help my channel to grow for each one of you guys who subscribe who haven't subscribed yet. It does help and it does help with the YouTube algorithm if you do leave that like uh, as well on this video. Uh, also, make sure to follow me on my social media uh, at Munchkins Gaming, at Twitter, and on Facebook. Uh, remember to actually leave down in the comments below as well because that helps as well guys Leave down in the comments below if you are planning to pull for this banner Let me know you like Lael more or do you like Sierran more? Let me know down in the comments below and of course if I am pronouncing his name wrong Let me know down in the comments below as well uh, Anyway guys, this is Munchkins vlogging off and I'll see you guys in the next level